February 9th, Inner Temple, Training Hall. Right, is this what Goro was talking about? Yeah, the trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. It's, it's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger. Edgeworth, the hell are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're one to talk with your face all green. Miles Edgeworth. Go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I'm perfectly... <clears throat> There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Edge Vath. Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. That's the same thing as taking a rest, I'm pretty sure. You take care of things here. So much pride that he's probably off crying in a corner of the garden. Pride is simply not the trap that hinders us in our lives. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, it seems that this is there we part ways, Phoenix Vipe. I'm going to stay here and see if I can't help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. Well, thanks for your help. Now then, do you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? No, not at all. Let's have a little chat with Iris, huh? Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I... I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I... I was so worried, I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least they're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was alright, but... But what? Then I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred, ca sacred cavern's door, and... Hmm... Who in the world would do something like this? These trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Kuwain tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who sets these locks? I don't think it's that simple, Francisca von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow, there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to just secure the place even more. They wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Simply because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks. First one. I mean, probably. <laughs> yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there any way around this? Like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. But... It will take time, won't it? Yes, about a day if I had to guess. A whole day? Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sure, I'll do whatever I can. But I wait another day? Hang in there, Maya. You're going to have to call on your inner strength now. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Vite? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us that you were in your room at Hazakura Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen that same evening at the Inner Temple. And then... 
You were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple too. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple. And if you've, uh... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Oh! Gotta see. Knew it. There's something going on here that we don't know about. Ah, uh, we're gonna need to find some more clues. February 9th, in a temple gate. Finally getting to the bottom of this case. I count on Iris to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. Was this to Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls? I think we want to go back to the garden, maybe? I'm not sure if there's more clues in here or not. February 9th, in a temple garden. The cops are still combing the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be nervous too. It's got to be a tough job. I mean... A cab, but okay. Especially with someone giving it the evil eye the whole time. <laughs> How could I have done that? Wow, I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth? Ah! Hey, don't you dare run away! What do you want, right? What do I want? You came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on, laugh away! I'm ready to hug it out with him, but he's just the same prideful Edgeworth. Give him a hug. Maybe a little kiss. Going back to the Criminal Affairs Department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Y yes And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. This sounds important. You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime, that's why. You mean because of the writing in blood and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here after the murder. But surely you don't suspect. I hear, do you? We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? So... I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes? No, though thankfully my nightmares have stopped. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. Seventeen years ago, we were little school kids at the same elementary school. Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. It all started with that big quake that hit the courthouse. Yes, I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. In more than 17 years now. And that case was finally resolved two years ago, right? I think I don't know that? I was there! But... It was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my life. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Worse. You're stronger than you think, so no more of this self-pity, okay? There was something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. I felt like I'd seen her somewhere before. No, wait. Not somewhere. I felt like I'd seen her in court before. You went back to the Criminal Affairs Department to look for her file? Yes. I checked over every case file I've ever worked on. And I was right. I had seen her face before. Six years ago. Six years ago? It was my first appearance in court. And as cases go, it was my worst, worst nightmare. Worse or worst? Typo? So, who is she? I'm sorry, right? I can't give information away to a member of the general public. What? 
what? Why not? It might be the crucial piece of the puzzle that solves this case. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewellery store owner. She had nothing to do with Iris and Hazakura Temple. And neither did the case. No, that woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Related? Yes, I can say that with complete confidence. You're wrong, Edgeworth. She's totally related to this case. I need to call Edgeworth in. I need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. I think we all know who we're talking about here. <laughs> Uh, let me see. We actually may not have the evidence we need just yet. Have a quick look and see. We may need to go and find the information we need and then come back. Every night, Dusky Bridge. Weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It all gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack just down this path. Maybe I'll find Larry there sulking again. Every night, Heavenly Hall. Oh, Mr. Nick! Pearls, what are you doing here? N nothing What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Um, well... We don't know yet. Oh. I see. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Nick? I can't remember what I did for Larry's voice, so I'm just gonna make something up. Larry. This is the loser's shack. We losers get together to lose themselves. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? Got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick. Mr. Larice did a picture of me. That's... Um, great pals. We're gonna gather firewood now. We're cooking some half-rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. So stay out of our way! I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? Who let you down? Oh, Mystic Maya. Oh, baby. Love you, Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life's here now with Pearl, two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. What are we gonna do with him? Alright then, what do you think about this picture, Pearls? I... I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. See? Someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. It's like a dream. A wonderful fantasy. No, no, no. It wasn't a dream. She really flew. I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night. Mr. Larice. Not you too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase, I beg of you. I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. I was wide awake after the lightning struck, and I saw what I saw. It was exactly like I drew in the picture. It looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch at face value. Hey, what's the look of doubt on your face? Um, Pearls? Yes, Mr. Nick? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Where were you, and what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I... I was just, well, I'm just a kid, you know? I, I'm sure it doesn't really matter wh what I was doing, d does it, Mr. Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the night of the murder... You were supposed to be in Mr. Nim's room reading a book together. But Mr. Nim was murdered and you, Pearls, were at the inner temple. Mm. So what exactly happened that night, Pearls? Really sorry, Mr. Nick. I, I 
been a bad girl. That's why I'm being punished. What are you talking about, pals? My spiritual power. It has disappeared. What? Her powers have disappeared? What do you mean your power has disappeared, pals? It's... It's all over for me. A spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a painter who can't paint. Hey, what do you look at me for? Pulse, did you try to channel someone's spirit right here at Hazakura Temple? Tried but failed, perhaps? Uh. Mm. Way to go, Nick, you made her cry. That's That was really good, cruel of you. Just as I thought, I'm gonna have to break her psyche locks to get the truth out of her. Gently, hopefully. I think she's a bit upset. But yeah, it's um, it's quite important what Pearl was doing on the night of the murder. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Main Gate. I wonder if Sister Bikini is back at the main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. I think Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. Whatever that means. How's the a temple? Main hall. Well, what's the damage? How is the sacred cavern? Looks like it survived. But we have a bigger problem now. Tell this to Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who... who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Kurain tradition. We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about, Sister Bikini. Oh yes, we were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes, you were telling me how the Master of Kurain disappeared seven, 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Face suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise... No, I mean Mystic Misty arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy the Kurain tradition's main family line. I am here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There is only one heir to the title of master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new master of Kurain, and her daughter's the main family. All other medi mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have and always will plot to erase those of the main family line. Seems like a really terrible system. The power of the master worth this much bloodshed? You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its power is real. Yes, I do. It's been two years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the Mask to Mask case, and during Maggie Bird's trial, too. And also some other cases, but I'm not going to mention them here because they're not in this game. <laughs> Thanks to Maya, me is always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. Curing techniques made a huge difference to the world, you know? I mean, the ability to commune with the dead, that's true psychic power, you know? Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but... With all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. A mistake? What mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. That incident? Is she talking about what I think she is? I'm sure the record still exists if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 Incident. That's the name of the file. 
DL6 incident. Knew it. The DL6 incident. I know it well. I handled a related case just two years ago. Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. Murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium who performed the channeling was Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man. He was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right. He was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Kurain tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media. The public, the judiciary, the people of Kurain Village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, while everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Misty Fay's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since she managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. Kyrain tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan. She mean... Maya? The spiritual power of the Kyrain channeling technique is in the blood. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fae clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family bloodline stems directly from Mystic Army. Amy? I forget how I pronounced it before. With each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of tragedy. You know, Maya had a sister too, an older sister, named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. Lost her life. Old. Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumoured to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. That's right, Misty Faye had an elder sister too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master's seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Morgan? There's a name I know well. It was a year ago now at Maya's home, Q Rain Village. What she did was terrible. It was also she could make her own daughter the next master. Suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have already realized that Iris. Huh? Uh, Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? But Iris is. Mystic Morgan's daughter. Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew. Sounded like you'd met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. Uh, I have. I know her very well. Oh? Yes, Pearls. Pearl Faye. But I always thought she was an only child. You jest! That child! She's Mystic Morgan's... I have no idea. Mystic Morgan? She's in prison now, isn't she? Yeah, ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. By me. It was all done to set Pearls up as the next master. I see. 
So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. Wait, what? Three? Yes, Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. What? The twin sister? Oh, didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. It wasn't many years later that Curane's reputation hit an all-time low, when Mystic Morgan's husband realised his wife would never become the master. He left her in the village, taking their twin daughters with him. How awful. He was a jeweler, you know? In the end he remarried, and that's when it happened. He decided to give one of his girls up, to be looked after by us here at the temple. That was Iris, you see. Unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister... Would it be? Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris's sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm, a jeweler. Thank you very much. You've helped clear up a lot of details. The girls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? The twin daughters were taken from her by a jeweler husband, but even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls? It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. She was able to break free of the bars that confine her. So Iris has a twin sister. What thickens? This information will be useless as I can flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions and get some more info. I believe we now have a mysterious silhouette. There you go. Iris had a twin sister. That's really all I know about her. That and the fact that she was taken away from her mother by her jeweler father. I don't have any idea where she is or what she's doing now. I could tell her that she'd probably have coronary in a half. February, February 9th, Tazakura Temple Courtyard. Sounds like someone's happy. What tune is it, the Howling? I assume this is the tune that he's rec like being referenced here that's like a recognizable song, but I don't know it. Ooh, I love my job. Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating is all about. Investigate investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. Good cases we have, good cases we've lost along the way. I don't know how he's singing this. I would have never guessed the gumshoe was into reggae. That's reggae? Okay. I, I don't know. I, I can't tell. I can't tell. <laughs> hey, pal. Huh? Who, who, me? How long have you been there? How long have you been there? I just got here. Oh, okay. So, what are you up to, Detective? I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find the real murder weapon. The real murder weapon? That barbed sword thing turned out to be a false lead, right? I'm giving it my best shot here, but I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. A letter? So how's the investigation going, Detective Gumshoe? Uh, I don't know if I should be telling you, pal. But I guess I can't hurt. <laughs> Looks like the murder took place in the inner court- In the inner temple garden. <laughs> and they're taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What? Y you mean? I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're going to be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? You got me. I don't know. They're not my words, pal. Then who said it? Mr. Gotto. Gotto? What did he mean by that? 
about that letter you found? The one that has nothing to do with the case? Don't remind me, pal. I'm busting a gut here trying to find the murder weapon. All I find is some burnt up old letter. Burnt up old letter? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the inner temple. Incinerator? I knew it. I knew I wasn't imagining it. There was snow in the incinerator when I first saw it. But after the inc incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder. What's up with you, pal? I've got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit and mediums and masters and stuff. But it's got no relation to the case. <laughs> spirit mediums? Burnt letter out of the court record. It's got to be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. Better give it a good looking over and some serious thought. Make sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime, pal. We're just gonna look at that immediately because it is probably the most important piece of evidence in the entire game. <laughs> we can't see all of it, but we can see quite a bit of it. Be careful. Once night falls, should be there. As soon as you hear the lights up bell, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. Her name is... She is our... our... The whole... Here is a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is... Burn the... Also make... Tell anyone about this letter. Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. You might be able to guess what the missing parts are, based on what we've heard so far. Have some fun, see if you can figure it out. So what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the Shichishiro was found impaled in the victim's body. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yes, that's true. In which case, it must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for now, huh? Yeah, and man, it's a tiring work. Let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of forensics in our cap these days. We're using the department's secret weapon on this. Secret weapon? What's this secret weapon of yours? You wanna know? You gotta think scientifically, okay? Alright. The murder weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? No. I know what he's gonna say, but I'll let him look smart. What's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector! Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. <laughs> well, you wanna give scientific investigation a go? Huh? M me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It gets pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a go? A try. I don't know. Should I help Detective Gumshoe out or not? We do need to do this, so we are going to do this. Come on, pal, it's good fun. Good fun, I'm telling you. Alright then. Guess we'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget, the absolute best. It's so sensitive you can make it cry, it's so high tech, you could skydive off it. Oh, bother. Now I'm gonna tell you how to use it. It's possible the real murder weapon is around here somewhere, right? Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Right, so first, let's turn the detector on. That's the sound of the metal detector signal bouncing off of something metallic. Next. Move the detector around and give this courtyard a good looky-see, pal. Don't worry, this baby will let you know when you've hit on something metallic. And when that happens, press the A button to give the arrow a good hard stare. This thing picks up metallic objects that are hidden from sight, too. Take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious, okay, pal? So yeah, this is very similar to the, um, the bug sweeper thing in the previous game. Just a pair of skis. Nothing useful for our case here. I'm actually pretty good on skis, you know, pal? I just love to fly on the slopes with my coat fluttering in the wind. Really? I had no idea. How good are you, then? Well... I'm better on skis than I am on skates, but not as good as when I'm on a snowboard. That's a pretty detailed answer. 
Oh, but you know what I'm best at? Making mashed potatoes and gravy! I was losing it. Must be the altitude. We better get back to the investigation. As soon as it's the same message? Yeah. That's odd. This sled's made of plastic. It says bikini number one on the side. Maybe there's something underneath it? Hey, what's this? A, a badge? Aha! Uh -huh. Been hunting high and low for that. It it's yours, detective? That thing's priceless to a guy like me, pal. A cop can't be a cop without his badge. I'm sure glad I put that put that dime in there now. How did you manage to drop your badge here of all places? I know, but it happened this morning. I was playing around with the sled and stop right there. I don't need to hear anymore. This looks like a wallet? Aha! Uh -huh, that's where it's been. Is it yours, detective? I'm always dropping it, so I put a bell on it. But you still dropped it anyway. Yeah, but now I found it again, pal. Your wallet is completely empty. Well, I drop it all the time, so I don't put money in it anymore. Then how come the metal detective picked it up? It's because of the bell, I guess. Looks like there's something round buried in the ground here. Don't touch that, pal. Huh? What is it? A trap. People set them out to catch us detectives. They're real nasty. A trap for detectives? You mean like those fierce traps with sharp teeth that are supposed to snag your leg? Yeah, those. I got my finger caught in one of those once. Your finger? There was this bit of cheese and it looked so tasty. I reached out and then BAM! I'm not sure I know how to respond to a story as stupidly pitiful as that. That Shichishita next to the golden statue wasn't the real murder weapon, pal. Yeah, I know. I just thought I'd check it again anyway. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Did you know about that sword? It's supposed to represent the multiple branches that life can take, all ending as one. Yes, I heard something about that. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of life I'd be leading had I not joined the Homicide Division? Think about that kind of stuff, Detective? Of course I do. I think about it a lot. Me as a traffic cop, me as a detention officer, me as the Blue Badger... Something to be said about the human value of Gumshoe as the Blue Badger. Uh, same message? I was trying to look at the actual statue, but it looks like I can't. Is there something up on the eaves? I can't tell from here, pal. Meh, just forget about it. But it's right under Lee Junim's window. That's the perfect spot for hiding something long and thin like a sword. I'll go take a look. <laughs> it was nothing, thank goodness. Someone just dropped a spoon. Why are you so happy about that? Well, imagine if the murder weapon had turned up there. It'd make me look pretty dumb, huh? At least he recognizes that much. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. What's the difference? Looks like a normal ladder to me, pal. Surely everyone knows the difference. I mean, they're pretty ordinary objects. I've met plenty of guys like you always picking on the smallest details. The vegetable store guy next to my place does it all the time. He even corrects me when I ask for a head of lettuce. That's a cabbage, he says. I'm telling you, they're the exact same thing. No, they're not. They're completely different. You have to plant both of them firmly in the ground before they can grow, don't you? Listen, you gotta take a step back and look at the bigger picture sometimes. Otherwise you could miss a really important clue. That's advice from a pro, pal. The last person he advised from is this guy in front of me. Think we looked at all the funny stuff? Or quote unquote funny stuff at least. Um we probably just want to advance the story now. By looking at this. Hmm. Hey pal, all you gotta do is watch the detective. Whoops. Okay, hang on. I was in the wrong spot. There we go. This is Miss Junim's staff, isn't it? Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector is reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, this thing's made of wood, alright? I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. Isn't the whole point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? Weird that this thing is causing a racket. Hey, let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off! 
Examining evidence is a job for the... Ah! Top is coming off. Look what you've done! You've damaged a really important piece of evidence. Ah! That's a... A, a sword. Hide the staff. Is this... Could it be... A murder weapon? I'd never have guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. I call this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. This one's a real gem. The workmanship is really something else. Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword. Or else the victim would have stabbed her own foot! I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. The real scene of the crime was the inner temple garden. And why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Hey, Gumshoe. He knows about the hidden sword. No one. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. Doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? No, no, no. I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Yeah, of course. This thing's definitely the murder weapon. Great job, pal. About the same length as the Shichido, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run over to forensics. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if most of it has been wiped off. See you later, pal. <laughs> I don't know how to... I don't know. Wait up, detective! Huh? What is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know? You're gonna get that stuff analyzed, right? Do you mind... holding off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about, pal? Please. Just until we find Maya. Yeah? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, I don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. You don't think... I can... Please, detective, let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern. Kind of already in there. Okay, okay, just stop it with that face, pal. One thing though, this staff secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, all right? If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, we're finished. I understand. Just a regular run-of-the-mill staff. You got it? Okay, now you take good care of it, pal. Thank you, detective. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. How about I take you there when you find my uh huh, pal? Sure, thanks. I can't help but wonder, though. What was Elise Junim doing with a staff like this in the first place? We need to know a little bit more about Iris's mysterious sister. And it turns out there's someone here who knows all we need to know. Can I have a little bit of a wonder? There we go. Not you, in the wrong place. I mean, obviously you do know, but you're not gonna tell me. Hey, Edgeworth. Did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? A, a twin? You can't be serious. The bikini told me, but the problem is she didn't know the name of this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently her sister was raised by her father, a jeweler, I think? A jeweler? Right, I... I just might know who this twin sister of hers is. I had a feeling you'd say that. Let me guess. Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. It was my first court case, six years ago. I was a greenhorn, due to my inexperience, the defendant died. You're talking about Terry Falls, right? You know about that case? 
I'm not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked my, one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. They stole a jewel worth $2 million from Dahlia's father, a jeweler. And five years after that, she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. Her sister? Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood related. Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. Oh. This is when she entered my life. The woman who tried to kill me. So after Terry Falls died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. What? Well, her me metabolic processes are a matter of interest only to historians, so to speak. What do you mean by Dahlia Hawthorne is dead, Edgeworth? Right, I must confess that in reading her file, I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty, thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. Mm. Mm. Mia Fey! Mia Fey! At the time, Dahlia... It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. It's been almost five years since that guilty verdict was handed down, and her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. But executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead, and once someone is dead, there is no way to revive them. To revive the dead? Hmm, I wonder. Seems you're not aware of one other connection yet, Edgeworth. And what is that? That Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay, a spirit medium from a branch family with a Q-Rain channeling technique. Did you say Q-Rain channeling technique? Do you know something about it? Oh, yes, I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Fraudulent? I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. I was caught up in the middle of a murder investigation. The police didn't have any leave. They were stumped, and that's when they called her in. She was a very famous spirit medium and the master of her channeling school. But you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. She and her powers, they're all fraudulent. Much worse. Go to the police records room, it's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file and you'll know. Of course, how could I forget? Edgeworth was the victim in that case. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday. And then you'll see that the cure and channeling technique is real. Uh, we now have the information we need about Dahlia uh, to get uh, Mr. Bikini to tell us what we need to know. So we're going to head back over there. Iris had a twin sister. That's really all I know about her. Add in the fact that she was taken away from her mother by a jeweler father. I don't have any idea where she is or what she's doing now. The 
tell her. But she probably have a coronary and a half. Okay, I'm not gonna tell her. Okay, I, I, I thought I was supposed to tell her, but I guess I'm not. Uh, we may be able to break those psyche locks now. Into the, uh, to the hall. See if we can. Probably, probably not. Heavenly hall. Hmm, I was expecting Larry and Pearls to be here. I guess I must have gone to collect firewood. I guess I'll have to check back later. Maybe I can break Iris's lock? It's been a while <laughs> since I've played this case before. Um, I'll try Iris's lock and see how I go. Hi, Iris. Out of the crime. I think it's time you told the truth about what you were doing on that night. You said you were in your room at Harzakura Temple the entire time. You'll claim that to be the truth? Yes, that's where I was. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe that what you're telling me too, but I can't. Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. Mr. Bikini. I'm talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini. The testimony in court today was very clear. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but... Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. So, I left Iris to help the acolyte and returned to Hazakura Temple. Sister Bikini didn't just see you, she spoke with you. You two talked about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris. You were there at the Inner Temple on the night of the murder. That's very impressive, Mr. Wright. The Acolyte's actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early so it wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the Inner Temple. So I would have left at about 9.40pm, I think. I'm sorry, Iris, but lying just doesn't suit you. Now, you say you left the main hall at 9.40pm, but what you say doesn't add up with this. I believe that it is the light, uh, this, yep. Yeah. Lights up, though. Take that! You yourself testified to the contrary, don't you remember? You said you rang the lights up bell at 10 o'clock that night. Ah! <gasps> Plus, only moments before you rang that bell, you were seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Who's that? Me. You're right. We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Surely you haven't forgotten. N no, that's right. I remember. And that brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. At 10 o'clock on the night of the murder, you were seen in two different places at the same time. And you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the Inner Temple. And second, at the exact same time, you were ringing the bell at Hazakura Temple. There's only one possible explanation of this apparent impossibility. There were two of you. On the night of the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time. Which means that there must have been two of you. I can't think of any other explanation, Iris. But that's crazy! How could that be? There's only one of me! It's impossible! Impossible? I wonder. The way you're trembling certainly seems to suggest otherwise. Well, you're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? And show me the evidence. Show me something that proves there is more than one of me. I think it's a hood? the hood. Uh, Mr. Wright, when you said there was another me, I was kind of expecting someone who looked like me, you know? I... I guess so. In that case, are you saying that I look like this person? Well, I can't say 100% certainty, but can you show me something you're 100% certain about then? 
Okay, I'm, I'm not supposed to present that. I'm supposed to present Dahlia. Why is this determined to hide something from me? I can't drag it out. There are people at it. Sorry, Mr. Wright, I don't mean to be uncooperative, but you're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Take that! I have a firm grasp of the situation now, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps? Ah! Uh, that's right. Dahlia Hawthorne. A woman I know only too well. No idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. But... No longer... Yes, I know. The sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? Sorry. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? This second you who was here at the temple on the night of the murder... It was your twin sister, Dahlia Hawthorne. But you just said it yourself a second ago. My sister's dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is the channeling dojo, a training ground of the Curane channeling technique. That night, somebody channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. Ah! I, I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted at the inner temple, I knew. I knew it was my sister. Dahlia, the other half of me who passed away last month. Just as I suspected. The iris that Sister Bikini saw at the inner temple the night of the murder. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because... Because my sister always does the right thing. Excuse me? And because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. You betrayed her? Or what do you mean? That's why I... I have to accept I may be found guilty. It's the only way. What is she talking about? You know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? That was the start of it all. It put started her down, started her down that twisted path. She started to commit crime after crime, and in the end, she she lost her life. It, it's all because I betrayed her. How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I... I helped plan the whole thing. What? I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars from your own father? That's awful! I mean... That... But I promised. I promised that I'd help. And... You didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge on our father. Re revenge What do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and then sent her to hell. The mother? You must be talking about Morgan Fay. Her mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fay family. The main family had a lot of influence in many business and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, our mother was set to inherit all of that as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place. Our. But his plan backfired. Because our mother's sister took it all from her. She took over as the master of Curain. That would be Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Before long, the credibility of the Curain tradition hit rock bottom. The new master, Mystic Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, our father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a hip dive and that he had no reason to stay there. And that's when you came here to Hazakura Temple? Yes. The one my father took as his next wife already had a daughter. Valerie. I... I have no place in his new family, you see? Oh. I haven't seen my mother once since then. 
Having the master's seat stolen from her, being rejected by her own family. I've heard she's been very battered spiritually and emotionally. I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. I've asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident. Everything related to it goes back to the history of the Fae Clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's just one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dahlia Hawthorne, poisoned a lawyer, she began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student? Have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. He said she hated his guts. I see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix Vite. There is still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Thank you. I suppose I better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Alza's Psyche Lock. I believe that's the last thing we need to do. Uh, we have all the other information we need at this point. Head over there. February night, Heavenly Hall. Look at that, they really did make a fire right in front of the shack. Oh, Mr. Nick. Huh, you're too late, Nick. Came here for one of our potatoes, we've already polished them all off. I think I've pretty much got all the evidence I need. Now I just need to find out what Pearls is hiding. Night of the Crime. After dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise Junim's room reading a book together, correct? Yes, I was so happy when she invited me, but I didn't go in the end. Didn't go? No, there was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried, I... I had to go. I didn't know what to do with myself, I was so nervous. The pearls never went to Miss Junim's room. Because she was too worried about something or someone else. Pearls. On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? So, uh, Pearls was worried because she signed Maya up for the special course and hadn't realised it was incredibly dangerous and she might die in the process. So she's heading over here to check on Maya, basically. You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not going to open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? And the next question is, who or what were you so worried about? Now, I'm going to take a guess, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? Y you mean you know? If I'm right, will you tell me the whole truth? Okay. You went to this place for one very simple reason, and that is this. Take that! It's obvious what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? Ah! You knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. I signed up for your special course! Well, my, 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 quite brave of you considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those you channel! Wow! <laughs> Mr. Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? And because it was you who introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the Inner Temple. And we're clear now that you went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after that. Mm. About what time was it when you headed over to the Inner Temple? Um, it was probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. But there was so much snow, so I didn't get there until after 10 o'clock. Until after 10? How did you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ringing for lights out. You heard the lights out bell? The Hazakura Temple bell's pretty small though, isn't it? You must have had really good hearing. I... I was really trying to pick up the sound of the bell, that's all. 
I didn't want to miss it. That would be terrible. He was trying to hear the bell. Tell me, Pearls. Why were you so worried about hearing that bell? Huh? Oh, uh, I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about that bell was because of this. I have a piece of evidence which pertains to that bell. As soon as you hear the light of that bell, you must channel her spirit. You were given some instructions to follow for that night, weren't you? I presume you recognize these pieces of paper? Ah! Where did you? In the incinerator at the inner temple. Pearls. You were following the instructions in the letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the lights out, Bell. I am speechless, Mr. Nick. You're amazing. These instructions that were found in the incinerator. I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? I... No! As you can see, a large portion has been burnt. But the last section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights up, Bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it, Pearls? Whose spirit were you supposed to be channeling? Mm. Taking into account the author of the note and their purpose for writing it, whose spirit would Pearls have been trying to channel? Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pearls was supposed to channel. The person you were trying to channel that night, Pearls, was... Uh, the only person here who's dead. <laughs> there you go. Dahlia Hawthorne. It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? That was the name that was in the letter. Ah! Uh, just as I suspected. Wasn't I or his sister Bikini met at the Inner Temple that night? It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you know anything about her, Pearls? Do you know what kind of a woman Dahlia Hawthorne was? Um, no. I've never heard of anyone by that name before reading those instructions. Thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. He doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. That's the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um... Whoever it was after you channeled the spirit of someone you'd never heard of. You must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their instructions without question. But here's my next question. Who wrote this set of instructions for you to follow? Pretty obvious. Pearls, I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? But um... But you followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you. That's why. How did you? I figured it out. The person who wrote you this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Uh, uh. Alright, Pearls, it's time you started telling me the truth. But Mr. N Nick, I. Why is she holding back from me? I don't like this. D don't underestimate me. me. Just. Because I'm a child. Huh? If you're trying to say I followed those instructions, I'd like to see some proof. What? Because I I don't think you have any. <sighs> You'd say anything rather than admit to carrying out those instructions. I guess I'll have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do it. All right, pals. You both know someone carried out these instructions on the night of the murder. But you're right, there's no evidence that proves it was you. Uh, uh, I knew it! However, I do know that whoever did it was a child. Huh? Uh, how do you know that? It couldn't have been an adult. No adult would have made a simple mistake like that. A uh, simple mistake? What do you mean by that? I'm sure you thought you were carefully following the instructions you've been given. But you misunderstood some of the words, and this is the evidence that proves it. The important part here is page 3. Bravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. You may recall, uh, this picture of the master of Curain is covered in gravy from the roast. <laughs> Take 
It was you who spotted Gravy on his hanging scroll, wasn't it? Ah! Uh, what? Why would I do something like... Do you remember what was written in that letter? Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. You didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast, among others, right? How do you know that? Remember the conversation you had with Mr. Nim on the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I'd love to. I, um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Um, Miss Elise, so for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. Sure, Miss Jim taught you how to read gravely and roast. But what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Gravely sounded like gravy to me, and the only roast I could think of was the food. And that's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from that night's pot roast. To be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I really am useless. I couldn't even burn the letter properly as my mother had asked to be. Such a simple thing, and I couldn't even do it right. Oh, sweet. I, after dinner that night, I did go to the inner temple. With a pot full of the leftover gravy. The gravy? I saw the picture on the hanging scroll near the sacred cavern. I was sure it was the Master of Turain, like it said in the letter. See, and then? Well, it was already way past ten when I got there because of all the snow, but I went to the inner temple guest area. Was the guest area? Yes, I thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why don't you just go to the training hall? Because Mystic Maya's main training had already started and I couldn't interrupt it. So I just stayed where I was and prayed for her to get through it. But then, I... Pearls, did you fall asleep? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just couldn't help it. Hey, don't worry about it, Pearl. Who cares if you fell asleep? I fell asleep waiting for Iris too. It happens. Anyway, then you found yourself trapped at the inner temple? Yes, when I woke up it was morning. I tried not to cry, but... Dusky Bridge wasn't there anymore and there was no one in the training hall. I thought everyone had left me because I overslept. I the letter into the incinerator, then I heated up the leftover gravy and... And let off some steam by chucking the gravy on the scroll while you cried? Oh, baby... Must have been pretty scary for you, Pearl. I know what it's like. Nick used to leave me behind when I fell asleep at school, too. Don't equate something so trivial with her experience, Larry. It was written right in my mother's letter. It said, as soon as you hear the lights up, Belle, you must channel her spirit. I was on my way over to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. So you channeled daily a horse on spirit? No. I tried, but I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? I've never failed at channeling someone. This is the first time it's happened. I tried and I tried and I tried. Yesterday, this morning, the whole time. But I just couldn't do it. Don't let it get you down, Pearl. It'll all work out. If you want, I'll come flying through the sky for you. Whoosh! Just like that. She never managed to channel the spirit. Is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone? Yes, I... I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? I suppose there's one other possibility. It's not very likely, though. Please tell me what it is anyway. It could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Someone else? What do you mean? Well, there's only one of each spirit, right? Yep, it's like dating a girl, Nick. You can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. I mean, I mean, y y you can. It's called polyamory. Um, although I don't think Larry would be very good at it. And that would mean on the night of the murder, someone else channeled her spirit before Pearl could. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a failure. I couldn't even grant my mother's final wish. Her 
Final wish? Yes, this letter. This is my last wish, she said. So make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Hmm, this letter. I definitely need to find out more about it. My mother has gone to a place called a penitentiary. Yeah, I know, Pearls. I visit her every month. And last month she told me. The time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I hid a letter for you at our home before they brought me here. I want you to read it and do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the Fey clan, my angel. You'll be doing a great thing. Now, listen carefully, and I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. My mother is always nice to me. I love her very much. Yeah, mums will do anything for their kids, right? She said it was for the good of the Fey clan, so I knew I had to help her. I mean, Mystic Maya's part of the Fey clan, so it had to be good for her too. That's right, isn't it, Mr. Nick? Uh, I guess so, yeah. There was a picture with a letter, too. A picture? Of Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Usually a picture is enough to channel someone's spirit, but this time... Pretty weird, huh? Like Larry knows anything about this stuff. There's something else that was strange about my mother's letter. The seal on it was broken, as if someone had already opened it once before. That sure is pretty strange. Someone had opened it already? Don't let her update in the court record. Thanks, Pearls. You really helped me out. You're very welcome. The mother is watching over us. So I'm sure Mystic Maya will be alright. Look at that innocent smile on her face. What am I supposed to say to her? Huh. Finally figured it out, have you, Trite? You finally realized how terrible of a crime being painfully oblivious is. Gotto. The entrance to the sacred cavern looks like a freaking puzzle workshop. You, you know, that, that common common thing, a puzzle workshop? I guess he's talking about Iris and the lock-breaking effort. It's all a waste of time. Why do you say that? Because my FA isn't coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about. How can you say something like that? It was your job to protect her, Trite. Just like it was your job to protect me, Efe. Two sisters caught up in the worst circumstances. I... I realized that, but... And you were the only one who was by their sides. You were the only one who could have saved them. I didn't know anything about what was going on. Huh. What did I just say, Trite? Being oblivious is a heinous crime in itself. Tomorrow. We'll settle everything in court tomorrow, once and for all. M Mr. Nick, is, is what that man just said true? It'll be alright, Pearls. I'm sure Maya's alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. I... Yeah, that's right. I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick. My dear Pearl, you've done so well, my child, my Pearl. It's better that you don't know what you've done. I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main family is no more. Now, finally, after all this time, the master's seat is yours. My last great wish. It seems I was... Just in time. To be continued. Uh, and that's that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time... We will be entering the final trial. Hold on to your horses and, um, evidence court records. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you may be able to figure out what happened from the evidence we have so far. You may need to get a little ways into the trial to figure it out. We'll see. I know what happened, I played the game before, but, uh, you know, feel free to try to figure it out for yourself based on what we know at this point. Have some fun. 
<laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.